Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an absolutely fabulous new recording of E. Albanis, Iberia. Ooh, baby. Do you collect Iberia? I collect Iberia. Iberia is one of the iconic piano works in like the history of keyboardosity. It's, it's just an incredible piece of music. It is, of course, sort of the national musical thing of Spain, just like Smetna's Mavlast is the national musical thing of Czechia, um, or what used to be Czechoslovakia, or whatever, whoever wants it from that part of the world. It's just an amazing, amazing piece of music, comprehensive and gorgeous and technically astoundingly difficult, and a real test for any pianist. And Nelson Gurner, here he is, on Alpha, absolutely knocks it out of the park, to use a baseball analogy. It's a stunning performance. This is live, actually. It's live. Let's see. It was recorded uh, in, in July 2021. Um, so that was like, I think, in the middle of COVID or something like that. But it was only one person and everyone could stand in a different room. I don't know. However they did it and however many people were in the audience seated six feet apart or maybe they could be together by then. I don't even remember. The bottom line is this is really astounding. It's gorgeous. What is so wonderful about it? Well, what really struck me listening to this performance was the unbelievable balance that Gurner achieves between the, the two hands, between foreground and background. I mean, it's just unbelievable with the melodies in the left hand and there's filigree or something distant in the right hand. It's one of the most three-dimensional performances I've ever heard. It really sounds as if there is more than one person at work or more than one piano at work as often as not. Even in the opening, Evocacion, you know, it just has this, this unbelievable... Uh, fluidity and uh, of, of tempo and incredible sensitivity between melody and accompaniment that always keeps you listening. It's it's extraordinary. It's a whole orchestra on a, on a keyboard here. I mean, in the third movement, the, the the you know Corpus Christi thing. Let me tell you what it's called technically, just in case. Um, here we go, El Corpus en Sevilla. There we go, El Corpus en Sevilla, which is you know this unbelievable pageant with bells ringing and all that stuff. I mean, the way he handles the, the clarity of the, the bell sounds in the right hand, which are going chugga 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 with a chorale on the bottom, boom, boom, do, do, like that. It's absolutely perfect. It's fantastic. And the tempos are invariably well judged. There were some other parts that just really blew my mind. Let me talk and see what they are here. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, oh, El Albaicin. El Bayesin. What an amazing performance. As you hear the strumming of the guitars and this just huge upwelling of melody and the harmonies are so beautifully judged. Absolutely extraordinary. Triana is, is, is gorgeous. It's so much fun, as usual. Lava Pies. I, I mean, I, I, you just take your pick. Take your pick. I mean, there are 12 numbers here you get to choose from, and they're extraordinarily beautifully done, fabulously recorded. It's on Alpha, and it's just amazing. One of my discs of the old year or new year, whatever, whenever we judge the year. I mean, I already did a lot of great piano stuff in my discs of the year, and this came just after. But it was recommended to me by my good colleague, Christophe Huss at Le Devoir in Montreal. He said, you got to hear this. It's amazing. And he was right. It is amazing. You got to hear it too. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.